The following trailer is rated S for spoilers. Welcome to Korean Netflix, home of zombie killers and elaborate headgear, and 500,000 shows about shy teens in love. But now, catch the intense global sensation that's making Americans whose only exposure to battle royale concepts is Fortnite, and whose only exposure to Korean film is Parasite. Say, I'm getting serious Parasite meets Fortnite vibes from this. Squid Game. Seoul's hottest extreme competition is Squid Game. This show has everything. Dramatic life or death stakes, PlayStation controller cosplay, human furniture, old men soiling themselves, organ harvesting, and you can do a human marble, which is that thing where you play marbles with your best friend until one of you loses the will to compete. These very different strangers will face off in a series of children's games for a shot at 45 billion Korean won, which works out to, let's see here, I'm gonna carry the one, divided by rotation there, um, about three Lindsay Lohan furry NFTs. But for the losers, there's a different kind of prize, piping hot lead. <laughs> The point is, they die. In this colorful hybrid of social commentary and thriller that invites you to pass judgment on the creepy dudes in masks watching all of this go down for their own entertainment. I mean, what kind of sick society would even ask people to hurt themselves for your entertainment? I mean, right? Ugh, gross to even think about it. High five! <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, it's pretty funny. Experience the Black Mirror fanfic that dares to ask, what if the weird middle-aged people who exclusively read dystopian YA have to experience their horrors firsthand and meet Gi Hun, a stand-in for every male TV writer in that he's a good guy at heart, but a bad dad. He'll get one chance at redemption if he can win the Squid Game. Unfortunately, he's bad at killing. However, he is elite at standing next to people getting killed. <laughs> But he's not alone. Fighting alongside Gihan is his childhood friend Song Wu, apparently the only guy from Seoul who got into college. <laughs> This grandpa, who makes it really far into the competition, because he's the only one old enough to have played games outside as a kid. Dog Su, a thug who leads the Squid Game's toughest Squid Gang, which isn't saying much. They don't so much jump you in as let you stand next to them while you eat a sad hard-boiled egg. Say Bio, an uncomfortable reminder to Westerners that North Korea is a real place with actual people in it. Han Min Yo, the wild card who's basically Nick Cage reincarnated as a Korean lady. And some random dudes who made it into the final 16, who we can only assume did all their horrible but tragically justified sh at some point off camera. But while this crew squares off in ultimate stakes four square, take a peek behind the scenes of the most brutal show to work for since Ellen. From the Among Us crewmates who do all the dirty work, to the financial backers who I'm pretty sure are Tommy Lee Jones from JFK. Such a beautiful number, 69. <laughs> nice. Together, they form pop culture's go-to indictment of capitalism, killing the poors for sport or making them turn on each other for a big prize. Oof, I forgot about Rat Race. I would kill my best friend just to not see Smash Mouth live. So strap in for the violent, chaotic, but also quietly heartbreaking global sensation that blessed us with some of 2021's easiest group Halloween costumes, proves there's still an audience for original content if it's, you know, good. And a truly depressing number of people relate to being so broke that you'd beat your childhood bestie to death. But no raising the minimum wage. If Jack in the Box tacos cost more than a dollar, that's socialism, brother. Starring. I'm from Seoul, but I'm not a soldier. Oh, that's Cho Sang-woo. He went to college at SMU for business. Smart guy. A literal old boy. Assistant to the regional manager. Sadness Everdeen. Never squid with crazy. And sensitive thugs. Y'all need hugs. Yeah! The Bummer Olympics. Oh, right.
right. There was that whole subplot about the cop who was infiltrating the squid game. Should we go back and, like, figure out something to say about him to tie all this in, or... Nah. Something that I suggest for a change. I've been trying to get you to say one of my YouTube comments for years. Roses are gray. Violets are gray. I am a dog. I'm Dr. Henry Killinger, and this is my magic murder bag. See you, she.